Hello everyone and welcome back to Dragon Ball Super Fusion World. Where today we're taking one of my favorite leaders, Android 17 from Green, out for a good old spin. We didn't really get much like Android support. We got more generic green support that kind of now plays a different deck strategy for Android 17. So let's take a look at that. Again, Android 17, we've seen him plenty of times. Draw one, wake is at four or less. And then if you have six or more energy, get plus in on power and then draw one when attacking. For the rest of the pack, we are playing in four of the one drop Boma, discard a card to draw a card. We got one Master Roshi to return one extra card from your energy to your hand. Add top card of your deck to your energy rest mode. If we got, we have to put some of those extra cards into our energy. Master Roshi's just here to get those ones out for us. Yeah, Boma to draw for dr Android 18 to draw. And of course, a draw. Lots of draw in this. For Cell Jr., again, we're not, we don't really care about the permanent. And then on play, you can add one extra card for your drop to your hand. That's what we're talking about. Hercule is here. If you have six or more energy, add two cards to cost one or less. And Earthling and the special traits from your drop to your hand. Again, that's how we'll cycle our Master Roshi, how we'll cycle our Bulmas, and all of that. Then we're playing uh, four of the Raditz. You can KO one of your Earthling. Only in battle cards of cost one less. Again, the Earthling being Bulma Master Roshi. And you can add one card from the top of your deck to your energy. Just a little, a good ramp on 20,000 power. We're not playing Destructive Strength in this deck. Again, we've kind of gone past this now with Raditz and Nappa. But now we have bodies that can swing. And still uh, give us, um, and can still do the uh, ramp. We got four Nappa. You're on play, choose one. Add one card for your life to your energy. Rest mode, if you have no Vegeta battle cards, this card can't attack for the turn. Uh, yeah, we're always going to choose the first one. We're not choosing the second one. We're always wanting to make sure we add. So it's a self-awakener that also ran. So really nice. And on 30,000 power on a three drop is really good. Anyways, we're still going to play R4, 17, 18, two again. Play two cards for energy or drop you leaders, Android 17. Look at the top three. Add up to three cards to Android. Great to drop your energy. We're playing, of course, three Gohan at a... Child, the new God 4 cost characters. Again, really good against the possible great black matchup of Sun Goku GT. Two of the 17 18 double strikers that pop to uh, three cost or less. Two of the Sun Gohan Child. We're kind of playing a slower game here, so we got to have some life ability. So on play, add top card your deck to your life just for some safety. And then we have four of the Android 16 Super Combos. Four Broly. Once again, on play, draw a card that you can just nuke anything off the battlefield. And then when attacking once during, you can switch this card to active mode. We have one Gigantic Meteor again. Cell Jr. cycles it. Again, Master Roshi can get into our hand if we need to put in our energy. And then we have then four of the Earth Shattering Blow. Again, this does have Android, so we can use 17, 18 to get it in into our... Um, into our energy out of our drop and then you choose one of your really uh choose your leader of well one of your battle cards gets plus one five thousand power then if you have six or more energy look at the top card of your deck you can add it to your hand or add it to your energy in rest mode and then one dr jerome lab just so we could push the ramp just a little bit further and again we can even put this again once it, it's another extra card so we could put, throw it into our uh energy and have master roshi grab it so that is the deck. Let's take it to the ladder and see how well we do. Our match against will be... Oh my god, it's Boo! It's Majin Boo Evil! Not just Majin Boo, it's Majin Boo Evil. I don't think this is a bad hand. I think we'll keep. I mean, we got ramp. We have the ability to nuke and add. We got a little bit of ramp going on. So, I mean, it's not hard. No almost horrible thing so we'll put this away again we have master roshi to get those out again we gotta keep it in our drop though for master roshi and boo if you don't know got a whole lot of support and is now his whole archetype is about just nuking it not sure why my mouth but yeah so he kind of just nukes a whole bunch of, of stuff yeah, here we go. Draw one card and four less life. Wake it, and then on this side, draw one card. Auto once per turn when you're 
when your battle card with Majin or even Wizard and Special Trades KO'd, switch this card or up to one of your... So you can only do it once per turn, but you kind of can manipulate it with... Um, manipulate it with your Majin stuff. So yellow is really good right now. If I'm going to play yellow, I think I would... Honestly, if I'm going to play it right now in the physical TCG, I would probably play Majin Boo, if I'm being a little honest. Uh, we'll put a Broly away. We'll swing. Okay, I guess we'll get another Broly. We'll see what our opponent wants to do. Yeah, there. So it's very interesting. So this set kind of did very interesting. So red looks like the Tournament of Power. Red was Tournament of Power. Green is um, the Saiyan Saga. Green Saiyan Saga. Yellow is the Blue Saga. And I don't know what blue is. I think blue is still the Boo Saga as well. Interesting uh, choice there. Choose one of your rest mobile cards with Frieza Army and Special Trace, which is the active. Um, we'll do this. Get the Cell Junior out just for when turn four comes around. We have at least something Android. As we don't really have much in the way of Android really in our box. Nappa too. Well, okay. We're gonna be pushing Self Awakening here. Um, we'll put that away. And I think from here, I think I want to do. First off, let's swing. Let's see what our draw is. Another uh, Sabatine. His animation is so weird. Let's go Nappa here. Oh, yes, I do want to not battle. You know, how about... Uh... Okay, Bulma. We'll swing 30,000 power at him. And we'll end it there. Yes, Majin Buu, face me! Android 6, 17. What the? Uh, um, do we take that? Yeah, I honestly think we do. I mean, we do literally awaken. Nah, it's all junior. Uh, we will flip here. We will awaken. We literally get up to six energy by the, by the way, next turn. Because we can easily just go Nappa. We can easily go Raditz, Raditz, Pop, and then we can basically get our six energy at that point. Interesting, he hasn't played much of the Majin Buu stuff. Like, Majin Buu Evil kind of needs you to be playing the Majin Buu stuff. So far, I see a bunch of Frieza. Well, there's the Majin Buu. So we knew something off. KO one of your battle cards, draw a card, and if you're probably six or more cards in your hand, you just discard something. Well, that is annoying. It does mean we can lose the Cell Junior, so we can even ramp even more. All right, so 25,000 into me. Um, honestly, let's do that. It's interesting, like, all of the Majin Buu cards are all when he actually starts absorbing people and taking their forms. Uh, I don't think we're going to need another Nappa here. I want to see. Uh, when is it? When during your part is special traits, it's KO'd. Okay, so we would need to KO it this turn before we did anything. Okay, we'll swing 30,000 at it. And we have four androids, so we'll be able to do everything with it. Okay. Protecting the Majin Buu. Activate main, yeah, it's an activate main once per turn. Okay. Put this out. 
Use the effect. We'll throw... We'll throw these two into the draw. And then pick up these three. That gives us our 30,000 power. And then we will... We'll swing over this. Another super combo. All right. We'll go right it. Nuke off Foma. Put a super combo in there. Then we can go Hercule. And we can get back both Venomous. And let's see. Did we do anything else here? I don't think we really do. I think I'll just pass from there. Again, I'm more afraid of because of the fact that he gets his um, his Imagine Awakening ability here. Because it's, uh, it's an auto once per turn, so it's not on our turn or anything like that. It's on his turn or anything, so it is on both players' turn. He gets that uh, that auto actus. And you're only a 25. Yeah, okay. Uh, we're gonna send the ball my way. Who's animation when he? Blah! I'm not very into this battle. Yep, the Bulma to self-awaken. Yep, tap that in the Bulma. That then pushes self-awakening. 25 is coming at my face. What? Oh man, it's so cool what they could do in this game. I don't think we said the English voice actors. I mean, we have English voice actors for a reason, right game? Well, it's not going to suck that I'm going to drop Broly next turn on his head, and basically I'm going to have to then deal with the fact of nuking off this uh, Majin Buu, which then will basically trigger his Majin Buu. Because here, well, no, I guess he has to nuke off his own Majin Buu. All right, so he's going to go grab a Majin. KO one of your battle cards, draw one card, then if your opponent has six or more cards. Basically, it's evil wizard or anything. Throwing this card can't be switched at the moment during your charge phase. K1, one of your opponent's battle cards, your leader's Majin. This is forcing me to discard a card here. Such a good card, I mean, literally, and control it. And again, now we have to do it again, because we have six or more cards. We'll have to discard the Bulma now. And because an evil wizard was popped, he sands himself back up, and now here we go again. But yeah, I really like this archetype. Uh, that this archetype is actually really cool right now. I kind of do want to protect this. Because this can't re-stand. The problem is it has to nuke off another, uh... Has to nuke off another one of his battle cards, so, I mean... Well, yeah, I don't think it was the best idea. Man, this Majin Buu stuff is actually pretty cool. I mean, he just nuked all his stuff off and then just gets to do a bunch of restanding. I will eat that pack, though. Warm up. Um, this we could go in there. Not bad on two big cars. Um, let's start off with packing this. Well, this isn't great, by the way, because he's just going to restand his leader or stand in energy. Yellow, well, I guess really like K1 
guess it would kind of matter how much he wants to willingly to keep this card alive. I'm going to swing at that. Just knock it out. He actually protected it with a super combo. Okay. Was not was not expecting the super combo for attack. Uh, another ten thousand. Was not expecting the super combo for attack. That's for sure. Well, now he gets to restand an energy, of course, or restand himself. I don't know if he's got one, one energy-based card. Oh, he restored an energy. Okay. We're swinging this. Clear up the board. Oh, he did get to restand an energy. I honestly do not mind. It's Majin Buu! You go bye-bye now! No matter what he... What he exactly plays this turn. I mean, I can protect myself. I got two super combos. I got a 10k. Uh, okay, well, we're freezing that Broly now. All right. All right, this is going to be annoying, but lucky enough, I have this to nuke that off, so I don't have to deal with it. Son Goku coming in. All right, well, we'll just freeze my entire board, I guess. We're definitely taking this attack. All right, uh, my entire board, I guess, is frozen now. Okay. We'll draw that. Um, honestly, I think the ball must the play. Bring on that. The Hercule's not bad. That gets us a couple of one drops into our hand. Play this. Restore an energy. Restore life. Then we'll go Hercule. Get both back to both the Bulmas. And then we can play a Bulma to draw one more card. So Jr. is not bad. We will need to toss then this to get the Cell Jr. to have that. Um, I'm going to swing 35, force him down to at least three cards in hand. Or three cards in life. It's also interesting. Oh, it's falling over and stuff, yeah. I don't know, but I don't think I remember as a kid I watched the Majin Buu arc. I remember the Cell arc as a kid. I think I remember, like, and I started rewatching the old. I'm up to the uh, Saiyan arc. I'm in Namek right now. So he's going after that. Yeah, I'll protect it. I mean, what else is Bulma gonna do? I have two super combos to protect my life. It's Golden Tree V Man! Golden Tree V Man! It's the best man, everybody! Golden Tree V Man! Everyone's favorite man, Golden Tree V Man. Well, Super Combo. And this does officially pass that. Alright. Well, we don't really have to worry much about Golden Freezy, man. Um, nine energy. Like, is there a reason to do anything with the charge? Not really. I got nine freaking energy. 
We'll swing 20,000. Weird. All right, um, Napa now, 30,000. Yes, power up boo. All right. We will now swing 30,000. Uh, nothing to do there. We'll force a few more cards out of him, or we'll force a No, there's, you know, I won't, I'm not ever gonna lie about forcing out a super combo. So we'll do this. I may keep the earth shattering blow just for safety. Good, I did select this. Okay. Send those two to the drop. Then we will grab these three. We will dead. Oh, I don't know why. Okay, so I know for a fact at least this is it. I have my mouse would ever work. Sorry. There we go. Yes, it's activate that off. I just needed to make sure of that. All right, uh, let's go 20,000. I could do this to protect myself next turn. A little straight. Oh! 35. All right. I don't think it's worth playing this because it's just not. We'll do this. Then we can grab this. And honestly, just to get maybe another card out of his hand. Send those three, those two. Send these three. Swing 20,000. The hilarity is I could do a cell freaking junior plus 25 plus 30,000. And then what, super combo and combo that? I don't think that's really worth it. We ripped full, a bunch of cards out of his hand. I mean, we have still a super combo. We still have... Yeah, I, I, I knew we were winning that one. I had way too many bodies on the board and still two really good uh, extra cards in our hand that we could have used at any point in time. So, what about that one? We got it. That's what I like to see. Yes, so yes, show me that level up. Yes, Android 17. Gotta love him. Man, I, I still love Green. I it, Even with all the, even with this new stuff we had, the ramp is still there. Android 17, 18, or 17 and 17, 18 on Awakened Side. It's just so much fun. It's just a really, really good green deck and probably the str still the strongest green leader in the game. I mean, really, Nappa and Raditz just make this deck go that much power power and ramp i mean we saw it. we just spilled a whole bunch of bodies on the board and went bam 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 it's like hey opponent you got enough uh you got enough combo cards in there to keep yourself alive heck we could have even finished the back game i mean i had two protection cards in my hand so i mean yeah i mean i wasn't afraid i could take two hits and then just get a bunch more cards in my hand and go two big protections so i mean i could protect twice I can protect twice with a 25,000 and a 35, and 30,000 because of, no, 25. Yeah, 25 because of uh, Destructive Strength, and then I had another 25,000 Earth Shattering Blow, and then I could even just ramp one more card in there to even go further. So yeah, I think Android 17 is still one of my favorite decks. We will definitely be checking out the Majin Buu because I am definitely a yellow lover. That deck really does look really cool with all the stuff you can do with it. Popping your own stuff, getting effects off, and then just doing a whole bunch of attacks, which is pretty cool.
But yes, let me know your thoughts down in the comment on the deck profile, the gameplay. Did I miss something? Did do you think something should be changed and all of that? And before we go, of course, we do need to check out our opponent's deck. So let's do a quick deck check. That's not the right one. Here we go. Here is the Majin Buu deck our opponent played. I think it's uh, relatively what I would see. I think mostly you probably want to play more of this, a couple more of this Majin Buu, I think. Is it? I think one of the Golden Freezes isn't bad, but again, kind of matters on the matchups, which is really good. I don't know what this, um, I guess just for the doubles, the power to attack again and be combo power, I guess makes sense. But honestly, it doesn't look too bad as a deck. We'll definitely be checking out a different version of, of Majin Buu because I think this deck looks pretty cool. We never actually checked little Majin Buu out when Majin Buu was good before he became evil Majin Buu. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on the deck profile for the yellow leader. Your thoughts on our deck profile, the gameplay, all of that. And while you're commenting, do make sure to like the video. Subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you can find my videos go live for you. And we'll see you here next time on Long Dragons TCG.